What's up guys, it's MB Boxing and today I'm going to be predicting the outcome of Fedor Trudinov versus Rhino Liebenberg, which is going to be a 12 rounder for the WBA Gold Super Middle World Championship. And this fight is going to be Friday, June 4th from the Sieber Arena in St. Petersburg, Russia. And to get into both fighters, of uh, Fedor Trudinov fighting out of Russia. He holds a record of 23 wins, 2 defeats, and 1 draw, with 16 wins coming by way of knockout. He's currently ranked number 8 by BoxRec in the Super Middleweight Division, and he's the current WBA Gold Super Middleweight World Champion, as well as the former WBA Interim and WBA Super Middleweight World Champion. His two losses come to George Groves via knockout for the WBA Super Middleweight World title, and he has a majority decision defeat to Felix Strum for the WBA Super Middleweight World title as well. But some of his best victories come over Ben McCulloch via knockout for the WBA Interim Super Middleweight World title. He's also got victories over Felix Strum via split decision in their first outing for the vacant WBA uh, Super Middleweight World title. And he defended that world title via unanimous decision over Frank Buglioni. Then uh, he's also got some other victories over Ryan Ford via unanimous decision, which was a 10-round bout. He's also got a unanimous decision victory over Hassan and Dam for the vacant WBA Gold uh, Super Middleweight World title. And that was back in, I believe, December of 2019. And he won wide in all three judges' scorecards. And he's also got victories over um, Umar Sadiq, which was the first defense of his WBA Gold title. And he's coming off a split decision draw against Isak Chalemba in February of 2020. But to get into his opponent's resume, Rhino Liebenberg fighting out of South Africa. He holds a record of 21 wins, 7 defeats, and 1 draw with 14 wins coming by way of knockout. He's currently ranked number 37 by box rec in the super middleweight division. And I'm just going to be listing his defeats as they come to Nick Hanning. And he also was a draw against Nick Hanning. Uh, his other defeats come to Vincent Feigenboots, Enric Coiling twice. He's also got losses to Eric Skaugland. Uh, Thomas Usu uh, Uisen, sorry if I'm saying his name incorrectly, and he's also got a loss to the former WBO light heavyweight world champion, Elader Alvarez. In my opinion, this fight is going to be one-sided in favor of Trudinov. I mean, Trudinov is the champion here. He's got the hometown advantage, and he's the younger man, the stronger man, and the faster man here, and it, he should beat um, Liebenberg with ease. I don't really see him stopping Liebenberg. I mean, it's possible to stop him late. Because Liebenberg is getting older, and I believe he did say in a recent interview that this could be his last fight. Uh, so he's basically on his way out. Uh, and Trudinov, as I said before, he's in his hometown. I don't really see them giving the fight to, or not his hometown, his home, his home country. And uh, I don't really see them giving Liebenberg the victory. But uh, Trudinov, I mean, he's proved that he's world class in the super middleweight division before. He's a former champion, uh, current WBA gold champion. I'm not really too sure if that's really a world title, but still, uh, Trudinov, top 10 easily. Uh, and I could definitely see him challenging for a regular belt or something like that in the near future if he's able to get past Liebenberg. I believe this fight was originally scheduled for the interim WBA title, but it was changed recently, I believe today, to the gold belt, which Trudinov does hold. For whatever reason, I'm not really too sure why, but um, Trudinov... He's actually a very skilled fighter, uh, decent power, decent speed, but his chin is a little suspect, but I don't really think it's going to be a problem against the older um, Rhino Liebenberg. But uh, Chudinov, uh, as I said before, he's a overall uh, well-balanced fighter. I mean, he's coming off a draw, but that's against a basically a career-long light heavyweight in Chalumba. And um, Chudinov, I just see him just easily beating Liebenberg, like just going on the inside, popping him with a 1-2, going back out, because Liebenberg, from what I've seen, doesn't have the greatest defense, and he just gets hit so much, and especially in that fight against Vincent Feigenboots. And Feigenboots isn't really the biggest opponent, especially considering that Caleb Plant was able to easily beat him uh, without even getting touched. Maybe that's just because Caleb Plant is really that good, but Vincent Feigenboots, who's an opponent that beat Rhino Liebenberg, was able to beat him easily and just hit him like a punching bag necessarily or should I say but um Trudinov uh I definitely see him winning most of the rounds at most I could see Liebenberg uh winning three rounds and that's being a little generous I mean it could be a little closer but I don't really just I, I don't really see that in Russia especially but I just see Trudinov the more skilled man winning clearly here uh, I could definitely see Trudinov winning a 
clear and fairly wide unanimous decision over Liebenberg, and I can envision scores of like 117, 111, all the way up to 120, 108 in favor of Fedor Chudinov. So overall, I believe that Fedor Trudinov will successfully defend his WBA Gold Super Middleweight World title over Rhino Liebenberg to improve to 24 wins with two defeats and one draw. And yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.